Managing a hazardous drug spill starts with establishing the basics. Who, what, and when. Who, so what trained personnel is going to respond to the spill? What, assess the situation and determine when to call for help. And when, all hazardous drug spills must be handled immediately. There are two basic approaches to handling hazardous drug spills. Either train the entire staff to handle these incidents or establish a spill response team. There are many commercially available spill kits on the market. However, most do not contain all the materials to properly handle hazardous drug spills, so consider designing or customizing your own spill kit with the items needed. In the event of a spill, if direct exposure has occurred, medical treatment must be sought immediately. Remove any and all personnel, caregivers, or other non-essential individuals from the area. Post a sign notifying the spill has occurred and danger exists to keep out. Cover the spill if possible and notify the spill response team. The spill response team or properly trained employee must determine the specific drug and amount of the spill to assess whether this spill can be handled properly or that further assistance is needed. Spill kits must be available anywhere hazardous drugs are handled. Don the fit tested respirator, preferably a full face, dual chamber respirator with multiple gas particulate canisters attached. Obtain and open the spill kit and all the PPE immediately to protect themselves from exposure. It is especially important to use the heavy duty glove over the ASDM approved gloves in the event of broken glass. Clean up the spill first, removing the macro amount of drug and broken container, placing them in a bag, then placed in a RICRA container. Then follow by decontaminating the area from lesser contamination towards the area of greater contamination to reduce the risk of spreading the hazard. If a liquid is involved, cover the spill with an absorbent pad or spill pillows. When cleaning up glass or powder, never use a brush. In the event pre-moistened wipes are not available, pour the solution on the disposable pads. Do not spray. After completing the spill cleanup, the area must be decontaminated again, then cleaned and disinfected depending upon the area of the spill. After cleaning, doff all the garb and perform hand hygiene. Decontaminate the full face respirator and replace the cartridges if required. Restock the spill kit. Complete the spill report form or other spill management documentation. Because post-spill evaluation is important to determine and understand the who, where, and why. Staging a spill drill initially and annually provides opportunities to test the system to make sure everyone involved can act quickly and safely to protect themselves and others from potential exposure to these therapeutic but hazardous drugs.